This is Cinema One and Only preview for week number 15, March 27th to April 2nd. And we start off with our Leo King Deep Astrology Weekly Horoscope. And then we jump to the three hours of relaxing piano and flute music what you're hearing right now and hugs and kisses a little selection guess who and Johnny Cash this week we're finishing up a little dedication to Johnny Cash over the last two weeks this one has the full album from Folsom Prison also from San Quentin San Quentin and uh, his final live performance back in 2003 and a nice selection from Roseanne Cash Saturday Sessions performs some selected favorites over the past couple of weeks get into the music of Tommy Dorsey, Dave Brubeck, some instrumentals that nice to learn, songs that are favorites. Tour of the York area from drone flights. And then our spiritual section. We've added Steve Ciccolanti to our section along with some information about the Book of Mormon. We started that last week. And we have more evidence about the authenticity of the Book of Mormon. And we're continuing the Anunnaki contact with the human race as creators. And evidences of that are not only Mars, but the Moon. And the Pleiades connection with Christianity, how this all ties in together. And part one of The End of Days, which is another book that Zachariah Sitson wrote. And instead of having to read it, this will be read for you one chapter at a time each week. And this is a quick little story of the Book of Mormon, or actually it's just part of the story from the Book of Mormon. Very well done. It's very quick. Doesn't take long to watch. And I'll get to some more musical selections. Getting into the Woodstock 1969. The music of that time Santana, Sandy, Heat, Beach Boys, Phil Collins. Then we get into some of the older cartoons that were in the theaters back in the 1930s. Yes, that's Donald Duck. <laughs> Newsreel, those were shown in the theaters. Our gang, this is back in the silent era days, the very first group of Little Rascals. And a 1945 selection that you would have seen in the theaters if you'd have been going to the movies in that time period. And here's a Shirley Temple short here. And a week. <laughs> 
yet a week, another week for another selection from the Charlie Chien Library. This is our earliest Cindy Toyler Charlie Chien movie, I think, that we've shown so far. And we found a few more Mr. Wong detective movies to fill in for the um, Sherlock Holmes movies we're still putting together. We have a black and white version of the Men in Black, Three Stooges short, and then the color version right afterwards. It's interesting to see the two and compare the differences between black and white and color. How much more alive color makes the picture look. And then we jump from Sherlock Holmes to a show that never made it on the radio, but this was the audition show that Mickey Rooney um, auditioned Shorty Bell. And then we have our musical selections with Smiley Burnett, Sons of the Pioneers, and Charlie McCarthy. Again this week, we're back with two more shows for the Easter season. And this week, we get to see Darcy Lynn Farmer and her Las Vegas shows. And we peek in on Jeff Dunham again. A few clips. And Howdy Doody, an April Fool's show. April Fool's joke. In 1952. Bachelor Father, that's in here because Edgar Bergen is on this show from uh, the early 1950s. And we go back to the radio shows of Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy once again from 1943. This time, Roy Rogers, Dale Evans, was a regular on the radio show. And this particular show, her husband, Roy Rogers, before he became her husband, was on the show. So that's an interesting thing to look at. And the next show is also a radio show of Roy Rogers. And then the Comic Weekly Man features a Roy Rogers comic strip as well as Hopalong Cassidy and Roy Rogers on the radio again while Neil Hickok, Gene Autry then we get into the theaters again with chapter 2 Phantom Empire with Gene Autry Preview of the coming up Hopalong Cassidy movie, the very first one. The 50s TV show Hopalong Cassidy, Roy Rogers, also 50s TV show. The year I was born, 1944, The Cowboy and the Senorita. This is an uncut version with Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. And once again, we have the three musketeers, three misquitiers. Also has a um, puppet ventriloquist um, as part of the group. And there are two movies this week, a Durango Kid selection. There's four Durango Kid movies. And a very, very good John Wayne classic. Another Roy Rogers movie, this time from 1948. Back to Flash Gordon science fiction selections. On the radio, previews of the serial that we are now up to chapter three watching and this is a three-part tv series so 
science fiction, Rocky Jones, Space Ranger, Starman, Radio Show, Space Patrol, Buck Rogers, X minus one. These are all radio shows. A little song selection by the Kinks. Their version of Superman. The song. And this is part 12 of a series we've had going each week for the last 11 weeks. This is the final week. Number 12. Complete history of Superman from 1938 right up to the present day. And if you don't know who Superman is, watch this. A couple of minutes, you really see a good montage of Superman clips. And this is my story, and I'm sticking to it. Superman 1940s, the best one. And this is the same Superman, only in the animated version. This is the 11th animated feature they made. Another song, this one we're trying to learn by R.E.M. Batman, that's a preview. Captain America, we're up to chapter three. And this Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, and 5 is all different incarnations of Captain America over the years. So it was in five parts, and we finished up all 2, 3, 4, and 5. We had Part 1 last week, which was a little bit long, so we put the rest of them on this week. Vince Namor, Episode 3 this week. I think that's a repeat episode, too. And Cars and, and the Lost Legion. This is a TV episode in color. A radio episode here. And another radio episode. And a Lone Ranger episode. To the TV version in black and white. To the last chapter of the Lone Ranger serial. Also in black and white. To the color version of Superman on TV. And another color TV episode. Green Hornet TV to the radio. And to the TV era, 1950s. These are all shows from that time era. We jump into serials, cliffhangers, continued from week to week in the movie theaters. And jump into the Bowery Boys, Boston Blackie series. And end up with the radio series that we started a few weeks ago, whatever it became of. Continue into some of the nighttime radio shows with some color spiritual movies to end up the Easter season. And that's about it. The rest are just family videos. Uh, all the way to the end. So that's about it for this week. And now in uh, Cinema One and Only World, what's going on in the weeklies, one disc a day from Smallville, and I believe this is season three. as well as Lois and Clark 
complete third season. Followed by uh, is it Superman. I get these mixed up somehow. Sets. When you run them one disc at a time, there's only four discs, I think, in this set. And the other ones have six discs. So at some point, we have to jump to the next season. There's a Superman, and then we run the Batman. Second season. This part two. So in order to catch up, we have, let's see, now this is over here, we have Superman, the next fifth and sixth season. Four discs in this one, too, I think. And then Batman again. season. Season three. And then we have some catching up to do over here with Superman. Uh, not enough disc to cover the number of episodes in Smallville and Lois and Clark. We end up having extras that allow us to be able to run these on the other days. And that's it for the dailies. On the weekend... Start out with number one. This is week number three on the weekend, Star Wars. And this is the week that we see the pirates and the princess. Yeah. Then the X-Men, this was the third of the X-Men movie, The Last Stand, and Superman Returns, this is 
inspired by the Richard Donna storyline and takes place five years after the Richard Donna version of Superman 2. And this week we began a new storyline for Star Wars, the beginning of Anakin Skywalker's story, episode one. Third week, episode one. And that's it from Cinema One and Only. It's Mr. J saying, see you next week. <laughs>